Fox Sports Radio. We're on FS1. Man, this show is just rolling today. Tom Tolbert, Jeff Schwartz. Uh, Joy Taylor is joining me. Nine, ten days off of the Warriors. <laughs> what a break. Lord, that is such a long break. Channel 83, Sirius XM. Have you ever met BJ Armstrong before? I have not. I have not. He's going to be on our show in 15 minutes. He's an agent. Uh, good friends with MJ. Uh, three-time champ. He was one of those role players for the Chicago Bulls, and they had a lot of them. Um, so I've never met B.J. Armstrong. He'll be on the show joining us in about 15 minutes. Later in Best for Last, uh, you know, t today, Joy, is the middle, end of the NFL season to the beginning. Today is the center, right in the middle. Really? Ex exact day. So we're going to tell you which teams are already out of Super Bowl contention. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that in best for last. We're already eliminating a third of the league. They've just been too noisy this offseason. Well, uh, surprise me. Uh, I'm, I, 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 Warriors swept the Blazers. I didn't see it coming. Everybody now thinks free agency this summer is going to change the power structure and the landscape in the NBA. But let me tell you why it won't. In the third quarter last night, the Golden State Warriors had on the floor Clay Thompson, Jonas Jerebko, Sean Livingston, Kevon Looney, and Jacob Evans. They swept the second best team in the West, Portland. They haven't lost a road game since Kevin Durant got hurt and Boogie Cousins didn't play last night. And Iggy, an MVP in the finals a couple of years ago, didn't play. And Steph's at 90%. Listen, I've always said Michael Jordan's Bulls are the best, deepest team I've ever seen. Warriors, Showtime Lakers, probably second place. But these Warriors, are oh, you got to be kidding me. No KD, you keep telling me, best player in the game. No Boogie Cousins All-Star. No Andre Iguodala. And you sweep Portland? Could Michael Jordan's Bulls be missing Michael, Horace Grant, and Tony Kukoc and sweep those old Pacers or Knicks? you got to be kidding me. There's a great stat in this series. The Warriors trailed for more minutes, 101, than they led Portland, 83, and they swept them. Folks, they're just toying with people. I mean, that game last night's a great example. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Use the bench, stay close, stay close. All right, three and a half left. Bing, bang, boom, hit it. Overtime win, game over. Thanks for flying United. They're toying with people. And there is this notion that free agency is going to change the world. But let's just talk about the West. Since 80 to 85% of the best players in the NBA are currently in the West, take out Giannis and Kawhi. Who do we know for sure? I mean, we don't even know if Kawhi is going to be in the East next year. We don't know where Kyrie is going to be next year. 80% of the best players, minimum, are in the West. 14 of the last 20 NBA titles, I think it'll be 15 out of 21, have been won by the Western Conference. So let's just talk about the West. Chris Paul's a shadow of himself. They have no salary cap flexibility. And frankly, P.J. Tucker, Chris Paul, they're old. Let's talk about Oklahoma City and Utah. Let's not. They don't have enough shooters. Let's talk about Portland. Good team. Like them a lot. Not championship level. Let's talk about the Lakers. Complete chaos. KD leaves to the East. It's not changing the West. It's not changing the West. And the West, like the SEC in college football, is where champions are made. I don't see anything changing. And next year... The one thing this sweep guarantees is that Draymond's going to get a max and Clay's going to get a max and Steph's going to get a max and Steve Kerr's not going anywhere and they've shown an ability to draft really well and the young players have stepped up and if KD leaves and goes to the East, Brooklyn, New York, whatevs, it's not changing the West. It's not changing the West and that's where the stars are. That's where the champions are. And I'm watching that thing last night. They, by a long shot, trailed more minutes than they led and swept Portland. I went to Vegas, looked at the odds this morning. It's not close. The Golden State Warriors next year, and they have Kevin Durant leaving baked in, are a heavy favorite to win. What about the Clippers? What about them? They're the Clippers. They have never been consistently dominant in the NBA. When it happens, I'll acknowledge it. To this point, they haven't even been the Raptors, good but disappointing in the postseason. They've just been the Clippers. 
the second most popular team in one building in the NBA. I'm watching this thing last night. I I'm not sure this isn't the best team we've ever seen. I don't think you could have taken Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Horace Grant, Tony Kukoc, and they'd sweep a Knicks. Well, the NBA was way better than, oh, stop it. The New York Knicks ended up in the conference finals. They had two decent shooters on the roster. We've never had an NBA with this many good ball handlers and this many good shooters. With this much open space for artists to be artists. I don't want to hear about how great the NBA was. The Pacers, Knicks back then were shooting 70 free throws. Some of the, some of the all-time classic Knicks, Charles Oakley, the late Anthony Mason, couldn't shoot. I mean, this league is all about skill. And when you can lose the people they're losing and sweet Portland, well-run, well-coached, star and Damian Lillard, just a big wow. And let's shift to this. So uh, yesterday, it was cats and dogs living together. The Lakers announced their new coach. Magic times it perfectly and makes sure on the day the Lakers hire a new coach, Magic's on another network, ESPN, ripping the Lakers. LeBron, in all of this, was in the back. Wasn't really talking. Looks like he was just working out. And Bill Plaschke wrote an article this morning. He said LeBron looked disengaged again. How hard would it have been for James to wander over to the media and give a quick quote or two to support the new guy who clearly needs it? Vogel said he talked with LeBron. It was all positive, but LeBron's body language told a, an indifferent story, one he could easily, easily could have, you know, refuted if bothered to invest one ounce of emotional energy in the team. Now, I have been very critical of LeBron this year for being disengaged. Let me pivot here and support LeBron and what he did yesterday. Could I make an argument LeBron was hiding to protect his brand and I don't blame him? It was strategic. Where does he win if he talks? He's distancing himself from the worst run iconic brand in all 50 states. Listen, magic gets to walk away from this mess. LeBron is trapped in this mess. And I banged on him all year for being aloof and not engaged. This morning, he's better off standing in the back and watching the festivities. LeBron has been in this NBA for 16 years. All but four of it, he's dealt with ownership issues, coaching issues, roster issues, chaos, disharmony. Miami was the exception. Great owner, Pat Riley, Eric Spolstra, and LeBron, and I get it, chose to leave in hindsight, not the greatest move. But for 12 of LeBron's 16 years, he's dealt with, and again, take Miami out of it. He's dealt with moody stars, Kevin Love, Kyrie were hurt. He's dealt with guys who don't step up like J.R. Smith in big moments. He's dealt with head cases. He's battled owners. There have been GMs fired. And now look where he's at. It's almost fitting that LeBron's career could end like it started, mayhem. N didn't, didn't work this way for Dr. J or Michael Jordan or Magic or Dirk or Bird or Shaq or Steph or KD or Duncan or now James Harden. Good ownership, smart coaches, nice rosters. I mean, let's be honest about this. LeBron's career appears to be ending the way it started. He's carrying an utter mess. Isaiah Thomas on First Things First yesterday had some thoughts on it. This is where I think the, the NBA and our league has truly failed LeBron James. Because every place LeBron James has gone, they've always given him either a first-year coach or someone that they were experimenting with. And they always took unnecessary chances because you had LeBron James. LeBron James has never had the benefit of, in my opinion, Hall of Fame coaches. Uh, he had a Hall of Fame front office with Pat right. Riley in Miami. However, you know, they gave him a rookie coach. I remember Dr. J. Good coach, good front office, good roster. Magic inherited Kareem. <laughs> Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish. Dirk had a good owner. Rick Carlisle, top coach. 
I mean, you start looking about the stars. Look what Steph walked into. KD, I mean, let's be honest. Sam Presti, Westbrook Harden wasn't terrible. Now he's with the Warriors. You start looking at the top 15 players of all time. One started with a mess, had to leave, felt guilty, went back to his hometown and won, moved to Los Angeles. When that started to deteriorate, Kyrie leaves him. And I don't blame him for standing in the back, not commenting, disengaging, protecting his brand. I'm not saying a thing. And I've been critical of him in the last six months. But if I was LeBron, I'd look at this mess and think, I'm going to keep my distance because they have pulled the cape off Superman. And he has more than done his fair share in his career. B.J. Armstrong, a three-time NBA champ. You know him as a legendary Chicago Bull. He is also an NBA agent. Seeing more and more players do that and have real success. B.J. is around the corner. He'll join us. Listen, you want more energy? You want more strength? More things to do? A little tired earlier in life? Gary was a scientist, world-class scientist, lived in Arizona, had younger sons. He loved hiking and biking, Camelback Mountain. And eventually he felt like, you know what? I'm 55. I want to feel young. I do work out. I am in shape, but I get tired too soon. So Gary, using clinically tested ingredients, a background in science, creates M-Drive. It increases natural testosterone levels, plus other benefits. You can get it at Walgreens, Vitamin Shop, GNC. It just gives you more strength, drive, stamina, and energy. He has a couple in the morning, couple in the afternoon. Go to mdriveformen.com. That's mdriveformen.com. Put in the code HERD, H-E-R-D, at checkout. Help you refine your prime. Listen, when you get older, you still want to do things. You still want to be active. It can be tennis, hiking, biking, mountain climbing. Gary was a scientist, did something about it. That something is called M-Drive.